I guess I can speak to that. Um, so like probably like going into senior year, like I spent all of like last year, like last school year and pretty much all of the summer mentally into like a really shitty place. Like I just, I just felt like, I don't, I couldn't explain it. I just, I guess it was like a, a super like, like foggy, like super cloudy in my head and stuff. And um, I was trying to figure out what it was, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to figure out, am I partying too much or what am I, um, I, I just could not figure it out. I just wasn't, I was completely drained at the, at the end of every single day. And obviously, I mean, the partying and the landscaping for eight hours a day in the sun wasn't really helping, but you know, it was just something that I felt like I had to do because that's a different story. But, um, you know, I, I just, I was like struggling for like, a long time, like probably over a year. Um, and then I came down here and I was still not in like the mental place. I just, I was so lost, I guess. Like I was so like uh, building ketchup, please. I'm working, you know, superior services or landscaping business, um, doing a ton of things over the summer. Uh, but that's all I was doing. I was, all I was doing was working. I felt like um, for me personally, like I needed to be applying myself like, elsewhere. So uh, I came down here and I was like, okay, like I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to completely kind of redefine, not redefine, but like, I guess define like who I am. And mm -hmm. so I got down, I still, again, I still wasn't in like the exact place that I wanted to be. Um, I actually, I got COVID like move in day. So I'm like moving in, I have like some symptoms. And I'm like, fuck, like we need to, so my, my mom, my mom was down here with me. Um, we get tested two days later, we both get positive results. So we, it was, but I'm looking back on it. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me because um, my mom, so she was still here and she, obviously we both had to quarantine. So we got a place up about 30 minutes North of here in Hollywood like on the beach, like a nice like Airbnb for, for whatever the 10 day quarantine. <laughs> nice. And I use that. I, I mean, I was, I, I use that to really kind of find myself. Like I deleted Snapchat and um, that kind of, def that was like a crazy shift because I didn't realize how much time that I was spending on Snapchat that was just a complete waste of time and other apps too. I just, those 10 days, I spent a lot less time on my phone I spent a lot of time just like literally laying on the beach, getting a ton of sun, like the sea, like that shit's healing. Snapchat's not healing. Looking at what other people are doing isn't healing. So that my, my brain just completely shifted. And I figured out that when in doubt for me, at least, and I think for a lot of people, um, like just giving yourself time to think like, because before there are smartphones, that's what people did. Like people yeah. didn't have anything to, else to do. They just thought like time like, to be mindful. Right. right. Even if it's just walking, like when I'm walking around campus here, everyone's on their phone. Like I just, I'm just walking. I'm just a fucking human. I'm just walking. And, and You're I'm simply being. already yes. simply being, and that's, that's the key to life. at an advantage <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's, and it's crazy. And so I guess that for one thing. And then two, I think, um, just giving myself a completely different change in lifestyle and also like, like, like my way of living helped a lot because again, I went from being driving around like all the time, landscaping all over the place, mentally all over the place, physically all over the place to now I can see my entire life right in front of me in my dorm room. Like it's crazy. And so it, it's like, it sounds like normal, but it's, it's crazy to me. And it's like, I'm, a, I'm the most efficient I've ever been. I can focus on my life. I can focus on the things that I need to do. Um, so I guess that like, just literally over the past, I guess like four to five months has been the biggest shift for me. Yeah, one of the, what, what you kind of said there stood out to me. It's, you know, you got all this right here. This is, you know, you got everything you need around you. And the thing is, is life is as easy as pulling that cart or that curtain aside and realizing, okay, you have the power to do whatever you want change whatever you want people think that they're trying to go through life figuring out who they are that's not what's going on you're creating who you want to be so that's why i say and a lot of these people when they come around their souls feel damaged and then they'll, all of a sudden a week here and they're back up it's because they re, they learn that every day you create yourself anew we're not here to discover who we are we're creating you know we yeah. literally seek and determine who we want to be 
And the thing is, is a lot of people, as they grow up, they have this idea of their ego, who they should be in their head. And the problem with that is, is that anytime something happens where it's off, they feel like they just feel off. They don't feel like themselves. Um, and so one of the biggest things that I've learned is just no matter what, be yourself. And like you said, sometimes you got to cut the cords and other things so you can just simply be yourself, be mindful. Um, and like I said, it comes down to creating yourself, but then also using your powers to create everything in this world. Nothing, that door didn't exist until somebody made it, you know? It's crazy that we can communicate through some waves and internet and we're all in different locations. Like nothing ever happens until you make it happen, you know? So that's one of my focuses too. And that's why I do all this stuff is it's like, I just want to keep creating because that's what makes me happy too. But then just simply being and just realizing that the peace is inside. No one can steal your peace. No matter what someone says about you, that can't hurt you because that's separate. That's their, pers that's, that's their perception. That's the other thing I learned too is everyone's got different perceptions of everything. Um, mm -hmm. So you shouldn't get upset the way someone thinks or, you know, and you don't want people to understand you either because then you're just doing what everyone else does. You're never going to be great. Um, 